ISO eight free Minerva shards, big events coming up and more rumors, all of that and more coming up on your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. And if you're ready for that, bro, the shoe burger all the way from across the globe. Tell him what to do. Let's go smash it. Valley flying. What's up, Valley Maniacs? Valley flying here. I am back. Welcome to your Marvel Strike Force weekly news update. Chew Burger is joining me. What is up, brother? How are you doing? Mate, I'm very well. It's a pleasure to be back on your uh, YouTube channel. It's been a year, I think we worked out at it least. Is, it's It's been a while. It, it is always a pleasure, man. I, I wish we could work together more, but hopefully, hopefully we've managed to uh, figure out these time differences, these huge time zone mm. differences between us, and maybe we can start doing more stuff together. But uh, yes, thank you for joining me on the news this week. Uh, busy, busy week in Marvel Strike Force. Uh, before we get into the news, how have you been, brother? What have you been up to? Uh, well, like I said to you off screen, it's been flat out for me, which is just absolutely busy. Uh, we've been a lot involved a lot with COVID stuff, so that's kept me uh, absolutely flat chat. And then a, a young kid, obviously, which I know you know a lot about uh, as a dad as well. So oh, yeah. trying to do all that and be an amateur content creator, man, it, uh, it's a busy lifestyle. Oh, and a full-time you know. job. And a full-time job, right? <laughs> Yeah, managing nine countries is overrated, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, but yeah, busy, busy, busyness, and uh, it looks like the people at Scopely, aka Foxnix, have been busy as well. Boom! Cracking down on dirty, dirty cheaters ruining your Blitz experience, but it looks like uh, people have been getting banned. What have you been hearing about this, brother? It's been pretty hilarious, like seeing people going onto Discord and on the Reddit going, oh, I had a blue stacks and I got banned, even though I wasn't doing anything wrong. And you're like, okay, mate, I believe that a hundred percent. Everyone else that uses blue stacks is just fine, but you I got banned? Blue, I okay. Use stacks. I use blue stacks. <laughs> I use Bluestacks, Nox, you name it. I mean, I don't use an auto script. That's why we're okay. So I could not be happy with this news, man. It is so overdue. It's not even funny. So, I mean, speaking of Blitz, I, I, like I said, we haven't really talked in a while, but you were a hardcore mm. Blitz player back in the day. Are, yeah. you still, are you still Blitzing hard and... Uh, like many professional athletes, which obviously I am, as you can tell by my body, man. Uh, <laughs> look at those guns, um, dude. If you look out. at those arms, man. You, you look like you could play, uh, beat somebody up in some sport. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. the Kardashian approach. I've just, instead of actually injecting muscle, I've just put pure fat in there. It gives ah, you the same no, effect overall, yeah. No. Um, All right, blitzing, no, blitzing, I, I, burnt blitzing. Out. <laughs> I burnt out hard, man. It's like the equivalent of blowing out a knee in NFL. So uh, I just can't do it anymore. Like every two hours, it's so much. I've taken the very whale out on the characters I like approach or get as close as I can as a free to play. Do that bare minimum. Things have gotten a lot easier since they changed it to the percentage system as yeah. opposed to just the top 2000 though. So that's been an awesome addition to the game but uh i would say blitz and chill is definitely my new religion man how about you are you hitting it hard these days uh new characters i try to go for top 2000 but other than that not not mm. not at all not at all uh with these milestones which we're going to talk about uh, there, there were some issues with blitzing mm. I, I did a lot of blitzing but um one of the things that yeah. i guess I, I didn't think it was that confusing but People were confused uh, uh, in this line right here about the crackdown on cheating. Uh, one of the methods uh, to release new characters is Blitz. We understand players have concerns about a small number of players that claim to be using third party applications or scripts that interface with emulators to play Blitz. So I guess a lot of people are uh, confusing the third party applications with Bluestacks or Nox as one of them, but they talk about emulators here. So these third party applications are these actual bots that interface with Bluestacks or Nox or whatever. These are what they're looking for. These are what they're batting for, not the emulators itself, because this this is this is something different. So, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, now, yeah, uh, just those auto clickers. Yeah, apparently the the everybody that didn't get uh, that was using this in the past, no repercussions. Uh, what do you think that they aren't able yeah. to detect it back then, and they just came online with this detection method, and that that is why this announcement came out last week? Well, when you know how even like the most basic versions of these scripts act, like, I mean, there are most applications, you can sort of tell whether an application is idle, or whether it's running based on like what they're clicking, whether they're opening stores, whether they're clicking through new teams, whether it's gone onto a refresh page, 
it's so easy to tell if there's just one screen locked on for 12 hours in a row that's literally just smashing blitz teams over and over and over and over and over and over and over again it's pretty easy to detect even for some you know basic coders so i don't buy that excuse as much as uh, they're trying to sell it I think that uh, there's a bit of protection here because they knew who some of those botters were and perhaps some of those people are uh, spending a little bit of money. They so, warned you guys uh, too. They warned the botters too. They came out with uh, in like a week say, all right, from this point on, you keep doing it. You're going to get banned. Mm. And I guess the people that are getting banned and still keep using it. So I don't yeah, know. They're testing their fate, right? <laughs> Well, and that's the thing, but I actually cannot believe, I'm really frustrated that even with that warning, it's like, okay, the warning's there, there's the perma ban, right? And they still only gave these people three days ban. Like, this is the, this is the oh, softest it? nerf bat. Oh, Wait it's only three days. It, it's, people, not a, yeah. it's not a permanent? What? I thought it said permanent. No, it's, they said that in the text on the thing. But all the people but, but that permanently. Have, but, oh, it's, I get I know. risk. Risk thing. All right. All right, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, I'm sure if they do it again, you know, it's just like one of those substitute yeah, a, teachers that can't really tell you what band. to do. Yeah. This is your 15th warning. One more and that's it. Right? That's where uh, we're at right now. Well, I'm glad they're crack cracking down on this. Um, Me too. Yeah. Good, good. You needed this. All right. Big milestone event just ended. Creative differences. Explosive combo. We get some pretty good rewards in this, uh, I, I know you're not blitzing as much, but how did you do on these milestones? Yeah, so uh, funnily enough, I just said I don't blitz as much, but this is the first time I've come out of semi-retirement. Um, <laughs> it was like Michael Jordan just switching codes and having a crack at baseball. So I was still pretty terrible at it, but you know, uh, I got what I needed to as a result. So, you know, I, uh, I ended up finishing them with the help of what I'm sure you're gonna be talking about at the minute, which was the, uh, the gift from Fox Next, which um, I think the, the fact they named those milestones creative differences, I think it sounds like that was the discussions between the dev team. They didn't yeah. quite know which way to go here. There was a couple of interesting choices, let's, but they made it right. That's the main thing, man. Yeah. Let's just put an internal joke in here. Call it creative differences and uh, let's see if the community reacts. Uh, did you have to yeah. end up buying any of these? Any, any of these uh, orbs here? I bought one of the packs by in saying that if I knew that those uh, were coming at the end, I wouldn't have done that. No, uh, just because I've got a few buyer pieces left until I get Cull Obsidian. And I was like, that for me was worth it. I need to buy one of those packs. So if I knew the 15 was there, uh, I could have just blitzed the last couple of days. But as it panned out, I didn't have to touch it for the last three days, which was awesome. So uh, nice, nice. I, I, I wish I, I wish I blitzed harder. I didn't start this off very good because like man these are so out of reach i don't feel like blitzing and then yeah. it was it was bugged when it first came out so i was like eh, i don't know about this and then and then we got the 15 I'm like oh i better start blitzing hard because yeah. i can get these um well, yeah it was it, it was a balanced bug too that was the surprising thing like it was the really good bug if you were on in the first two to three hours because you got like every team that won was like it was full of the uni char unity characters <laughs> and then later in the day there was zero and it was like oh man it was, it was just both ends of the spectrum yeah some of these bugs are confusing man what blue dragon hammer of <laughs> thor almost three times oh, uh, over three times what number two did uh Ah oh, man, we, we, were just about, we were just down. talking about blitz spots. I, I, I'll leave it at that. I don't know this guy. <laughs> I won't. I won't ask the question that I was gonna ask. <laughs> Let's move on because we did. Yeah. We, we did. We did talk about those uh, fifteen shards, and I thought that was very, very important. The unity event uh, that did help out. We got the, this. Was kind of surprising, mm -hmm. you know. And, and you know, Fox Next, they get a lot of criticism. I guess Scopely now. I keep saying Fox Next, and I probably will for a while. But they mm -hmm. get a lot of criticism. All their bugs, all their things, but they do respond pretty good. They saw that this was uh, mm. not an event or that the community was just too angry about this whole event and they made mm. it right. What What is your reaction to them giving out 15 orbs? So kinda, I think it was only in the middle one of bug. Yeah, if it was just the one bug, I, I don't think that Scopely slash Fox would have done this, to be honest, but they hit the magic number of bugs for an event. So, or issues. So you had uh, Unattainable and the first day and the last day had zero bonuses because it was the uh, blue and red or blitzes. Yeah. So that's never good. And then the uh, beneficial bug at the start of it, the uh, artificial bug that sort of screwed everyone for the first day. So, I mean, three mistakes is kind of the magic number for compensation with these guys. So, uh, yeah, we all kind of figured something might be coming. But I will admit, I was surprised by how many. By their standards, that's pretty generous, especially with how hard those things were to get. So, yeah, Ooh. man, you, you got to give credit when it's due. You do, yeah. Uh, now the orbs itself did you get anything good out of these orbs or was it just mainly the milestones that provided the value for you 
I got a lot of gold. I I didn't pull many extra of the, of the uh, Negasonic shards, but I did pull a lot of gold. I swear it was like purples more often than it wasn't. So I spent a lot of my gold before these events. And mm -hmm. I think back after this, and I haven't bought any, I'm sitting at like 16 million gold or, or something. Can, so plus yeah. those like what, 60 something gold ores? My goodness, dude. <laughs> Yeah, well, I haven't touched uh, X Force at all. That's that's the big thing oh, is that yeah. I blew everything I had on Black Order. Almost everything was gone, and then yeah, it's, I haven't done anything since. I'm just waiting for that next thing. X Force is a team that I think is wonderful, but I personally don't need it right now. So Ooh. I can loop back around to that in you know 2022 when we can farm them. So <laughs> maybe 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 2021. I don't know. They've been getting a little oh, look, slight, been, slightly like six, quicker. 69 months. Slightly 69 quicker. months is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm being obviously very exaggerative there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you mentioned this. Call added to the Elite Star Orbs. Kind of burned mm. through a bunch of your megas. Uh, they, we When they first came out, when this first uh, Red Star rework came out, they said they would be adding these characters once they became farmable. They've been doing mm. pretty good, though. We got, we got Corvus early. Taskmaster mm -hmm. early. Now we got Call mm -hmm. early. Do you think that this is the trend to just keep getting these characters before they become farmable, or you know, is is In being the... added to orbs considered farmable for Fox next? Oh god, <laughs> it better not be. Um, that's that's no, why, I, that's I, why I, we I had Call it's... right. Yeah, I mean, we all thought that was going to be the case when they committed to that cadence. We were like, oh, I see what's going to happen. But I have to admit, they've been pretty regular with getting one to two characters farmable a month, which uh, I thought they'd just stick to the one every Wednesday. But yeah, the fact they're sneaking into orbs early, but the even better part of that valley, this is something I've been criticizing for a long time, is how much garbage was in those orbs. And now they're starting to go, all right, good character in, let's take out Ant-Man because um, everyone pulled Ant-Man all of last month. So <laughs> things like that, there's some subtle improvements and I hope that they start to ramp that up and really clean that up. And because if you put good value on these orbs, man, people will spend in situations they normally wouldn't. And uh, I think they should go after that cash. Yeah, for me, I, I look for value. If they have value, if, they, if Mega Orbs, it was yeah. originally sold for $35 each. If it was worth $35, yeah. I might be buying that stuff because if I'm getting 100 shards of a character I want, mm. I'm questioning if that if that $35 is worth it for 100 shards or not. It depends on the character, though. But um, 100%, so, yeah. So it kind of screws up the meme game about Ant-Man not being in there anymore, but it is good for players. I know. What, what, what do you think is going well, on we premium? Still, we still have Ravager Stitcher. We still got Stitcher, so, you know, our Lord and Savior is still looking over us. So <laughs> if they make him meta, we're going to have to find something new again. One day, one day. Taserface may be coming to the game at some point, and Ravagers will have their day. Uh, what do you think is going on? again. <laughs> what do you think is going on with premium orbs? Do you think they're ever going to add uh, or take characters out of that because that is a very crowded crowded orb yeah i'm kind of surprised they haven't sort of split that out and like just sort of uh you know put something in between basic and premium a lot of mm. the games do this where the premium orbs you know they'll either have that or the chances of getting those newer characters are very very significantly higher like even higher than those drop rates they're putting there now for some characters if they do leave trash in there so even games like galaxy of heroes did that at one point so i hope they do either either split it out into two orbs or what would be even better i mean take out all characters that are farmable somewhere in a store i think that'd be uh, probably the best thing in the game because if you did that then you know you're going to spend currency where you need to and then that leaves that store a little bit cleaner and like then that. one like in that. one out you but i like you nice. mentioned that for premiums though i would like that for megas they put mm -hmm. all non farmables oh, in the be... megas I, yeah. I, might, I might be spending money on those megas if if they did that you know? yeah well, if you knew there was things that you couldn't farm in the game at all, like if you made just that for the Mega Orbs, if they put the price up, I guarantee Krakens would go deep on that because it might be just slightly better value if they pull what they want. It's still better RNG for Fox Next making some cash. It's it's a good balance and I'd love them to try it for a month. Put out one orb, Fox Next, that has just the characters in the game we can't farm. You tell me, man, if you had Cyclops out there, Blob, ooh, if ooh. you have some of the Black Order in there, people yes. are going to go deep on that offer, man deep I, I, yes do it cerebro give us some give us do, do some do some a b maybe, testing for maybe these don't kind of offers cerebro in my face yeah <laughs> listen to valley don't listen to me listen to valley. fun in the sun oh we got a big uh, weekend coming up in the u.s uh fourth of july which means some partying 
uh, nor normal, unquarantined. It would mean some partying. I don't know what it's going to mean this weekend, but we got some events going on in Marvel Strike Force to kind of coincide with it. And there are a lot of orb openings that you can do. How mm -hmm. much have you been hoarding, brother? This is, this is, this is, I, I love hoarding orbs and not opening stuff and just saving it and not use, making use of my characters. Have you, have you been oh, hoarding yeah. a lot? <laughs> massively massively yeah. so taking that x force brace man uh i've got i think it's 400 purple orbs for the raid orbs i've got about Whoa. uh Jeez. two or 300 for the blues i've got about 170 180 something in that ballpark for the orange man. Uh, i'm sitting on about 220 230 blitz orbs 62 gold orbs like i'm ready to run man um Dude. but you watch him have like one point for all those orbs it'll be all about <laughs> blitzing i'll just about bet money on that <laughs> that you can open a thousand orbs uh, and I might even stream that. Like I'm pretty against opening all orbs of, on stream, but, I, but just do it all in one hit and then show me get to milestone two. You know what that I mean? Could like so, a, that could be like a two hour stream. No gameplay, just opening orbs for that whole time. Even even with a 10X, yeah, that, that's just gonna be a long orb opening, dude. Hey, uh, you, you mentioned you I'm got not a lot of- I, I would watch that video. You would? <laughs> Oh, uh, I wouldn't. No way. Would, would not. <laughs> okay, okay. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it would not makes more sense. Um, yeah, yeah. You mentioned you have all those yeah. orange gear orbs. That As soon as you said that, mm -hmm. say, where are you in Dark Dimension 3? I've been opening my eyes because I want to make uh, yeah. progress my characters in Dark Dimension 3. So are, are you in there? Are you, mm -hmm. are you are you done with it already? And you're like, ah, I don't need these orange. What, what is going on with that with you? Yeah, so I, I finished the first run and I'm just taking, nice. well, I mean, I didn't really push that hard. I went super casually on the first run, I'm not gonna lie. But then when I unlocked Black Order, that was the same time that I hit Cosmic. And then I think I did the next, you know, three nodes in the next couple of days because that team oh. is crazy in there. So then I hit City with zero characters ready because <laughs> I was like, oh, I got time, I got time. But um, more is just too powerful in that mode, in that game mode. So uh, yeah, I finished it about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. Nice. And uh, I've been sitting on all that currency too. I haven't upgraded <laughs> anyone since except for Yo-Yo three to four reds. Oh, I got this some is gonna be an interesting it. conversation. We're talking about the chaos theory coming up. But uh, the mm. back, back to these milestones before we get too off topic. Uh, some yeah. pretty good, some pretty good uh, rewards in this. We got uh, gear, elite credits, mm. orange gear, which which I still need. Uh, th three red star Deadpool, so newer players. This is pretty good. The five red star cable. I was talking with OMG. Mm. He's not sure if he wants to open that if he gets that, just because it kind of screws up the whole. Uh, order of uh, the attack order of the x-force because when you're on war defense or when war offense some of the defensive teams target the highest damage character and you kind of want it to mm. be deadpool so uh good good dub double edged sword i guess i don't know and more character shards mm. uh gold or fragments I, don't, I know you don't need any of those uh, are, are there any character shards that you're kind of hoping are going to be in these milestones as the rewards Definitely. I mean, anything in the ballpark of X-Force, some of the unfarmable characters like Cyclops, Blob. I mean, if there's anything Black Order in it, I'm all over it. But um, they're probably the big ones at the moment. Uh, I'd love to finish off Ghost Rider. I've got him pretty close now. Uh, they had those amazing sort of $2 offers there consistently. Uh, yes. I, I wish they kept doing that, man. Those offers were fantastic. Best thing they've done all year for uh, Dolphin slash Whales, for sure. So uh, that that would probably get me out of the box to uh, get involved in Blitz for sure. All right, so in that blog post, I talk about new login character. We got a lot of cable shards, but I think the big one, this one, July free Minerva shards, not just 40. So you're not just a new player, just five shards short of unlocking uh, Minerva. You're getting, I think it was 55 or something like that. It, it's, mm. it's more, you're being able to unlock her as a new player is the main point. So all these new players mm. that haven't been through Dark Dimension 2, awesome, awesome stuff. What do you think of these new login calendars that we're getting uh, that we just got recently? They've been great. I mean, those in the additional calendars as well. Like, I mean, we keep getting those gold calendars because they mess things up. We got those <laughs> mega orbs because they made mistakes. Like, you know, I'm kind of willing to back down from being critical of Fox Snakes when they do mess up now, if they keep doing those sort of rewards, because they've been wonderful. But Minerva, as you say, man, it's huge. Because a lot of us clear Dark Dimension 2 with like three star Minervas. Yeah. And that, for these guys, man, you put a star lord with that Minerva, DD2 is done. Then mm -hmm. they got Ultron, then their game opens up, then they can start farming ultima 6 ultima 7 easily so yeah i'm excited for a lot of the new uh, players coming to the game now uh, which has been great to see an influx of those at the moment 
I like it. Uh, this, this, is, this is really good. And like you said, it is, it's going to allow new players to open up ults runs so much quicker. This is this is really, really mm. good for new players. Uh, how much how much do you think of uh, this login calendar specifically is because of uh, some problems going on in another game? And, and I think most people know what game we're talking about, but I don't think we have to mention it. <laughs> No, I don't think we do. I think a lot of people watching this video this week are probably watching it for the first time. I think that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that are, are really frustrated elsewhere. And I think it's got a lot to do with it. And I think that um, Scopely is not silly. I mean, they've been running this game for a long time. They understand times to be generous. They understand times where they uh, milk every single teat of the whales. You know what I mean? Like they know when to strike. So I, th I think they're playing the smart game right now and definitely picking up... Uh, what the company who shall not be named uh, has done very, very poorly, man. Like how you ruin that game, I really don't know. I loved it for two years, that game, and I walked away in mods 2.0. A lot of people oh. have stayed for a, a lot worse, so. Yeah, I, I walked around, I walked away around the same time. But let, let's move on to another topic that we haven't discussed. Sure. I, know, I know you've talked about it, I've talked about it, but we haven't talked about it together. ISO 8, the play test is mm. over, it's done. There was a QA mm -hmm. recently. I was not a part of it. I, I forgot about it last second and missed it. But um, what you know about ISO 8 so far, the different classes, um, mm. the RNG from the previous versions taken out of it. What are your thoughts of what you know about ISO 8 so far, knowing that some of these things can all totally change? <laughs> Oh, look, absolutely. And in some ways, I do hope they do. So, I mean, one of the beautiful things about me not being in the Envoy program these days, mate, is that uh, a lot of the whales get chatty with me because they don't respect their NDAs the same way you boys do. You, you cheeky buggers in the Envoy program tell me nothing, <laughs> as you should, right? Well, um, we, we, so we have been, some financial thing for not breaking the NDA. I some know. of the others, there's nothing. No. that they, There are no repercussions. I, I wouldn't <laughs> respect you if you did. I wouldn't respect you if you did. So, look, um, it's been really interesting because on paper, it seems fantastic. I mean, I love the idea of taking these characters, throwing in some RPG elements and going, this guy is going to do more damage. This guy is going to add extra heals. Now I can flip things. I love the theory crafting. I mean, you know me, mate. That's my yeah. favorite part of content creation is going, you know, where do the dots lead up? What, what team can I make with this? And um, it seems really good on paper. Talking to some of the guys that have been in there, um, they're saying that uh, there's a lot to love and there's a lot that perhaps we should be very cautious about our excitement. So the main one being, and obviously things could change, and obviously I'm taking the words of people who have been in a test that I wasn't a part of. So this is okay. rumor mill stuff, as Valley said, um, is uh, it could take up to seven to nine months for a free to play player to max one character's ISO 8s. Mm. And the fact that you can't move those around to different characters, yeah, that is, I think, far too much of a grind. And if that is true, I, I really hope that's one of the things that they change. And the other thing is you tend to see with mods in any game, which is what ISO 8 basically is, yeah. um, one thing comes out and dominates, right? So mm -hmm. in other games, it was always speed. Yeah. I'm really glad they haven't done that here. Um, but it does seem to be that the healer uh, is actually the most popular right now, especially for dealing with the higher tiers of Ultima 7. Mm -hmm. That even most of your DPS characters, if you use very fast ones, the idea is the more turns you take, the more heals you passively give to your team. And if you have four to five characters all healing just on their turn, that adds up and you don't actually uh -huh. need necessarily a proper healer. So there does seem to be some metas already evolving. And uh, that means that, yeah, that there'll be a few people with a bit of a knowledge advantage, I think, uh, that have been as part of the test. But hopefully they share that with the community and uh, and don't keep it to themselves. But a few of them have told me, so I'll tell you as soon as we're allowed to. Sweet, sweet. Uh, so you mentioned that healer class. Are there any other classes of characters that kind of stand out for you in ISO 8 that uh, you want to kind of theory craft? It, it, there's five classes. So yeah. I, I don't know if Fox Next was like, oh, each team would have one of these classes or multiple versions. I don't know if that was their thinking uh, going into this. But are, mm -hmm. other than that healer, are, are there any uh, other classes that stand out? I know you weren't on the playtest, but you've seen screenshots and know what yeah. the, the, all those are, right? So. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, some of the, it seemed like there would have been purposes for all of them, but it does sound at the moment that some of them are significantly underpowered. So it seems like healer was the most utilized for raids for obvious reasons. Um, getting some of the striker mods on Black Bolt seemed to be very popular. Um, you know, uh, there's very few characters that need the crit type role where they get the bonus crit attack, but play characters like Killmonger seem to be scaling really, really well with that one. 
And obviously those characters that are just made of absolute paper, like your human torches, your yo-yo, characters that if they had that one extra turn, they could completely change your match. Um, I think Fortifier is actually going to be okay because mm. it seems like what was on the server versus what you guys were allowed to tell people with information was a little bit different. That, you know, it wasn't just Fortify on spawn. There was fortifications or barriers being applied every single turn. So uh, okay. yeah, it I sounds didn't... like um, most of them, yeah. The buff flip one sounds like it's pretty broken in a bad way that almost no one was using it from the big guilds in the test. Okay. Yeah, I, I was on it. I got like a basic understanding. I didn't do a lot of playing and testing out theory crafting with these just time wise but uh I, mm. yeah I, I i'm looking forward to it i i like that you could switch the classes not have to pay once you've already paid uh but mm. yeah if you're if you're taking nine months for one character that seems a little excessive now uh we we just talked about some calendars maybe there's a way to in you know introduce more of these into the game uh obviously they're gonna be you know selling the crap out of these <laughs> you yeah. know hey you got a you got a piece a five star piece or three five star pieces and now you just got to farm a little bit I, i'm fully expecting that's the milk as much out of it and yeah may, I, that might be on purpose you know nine months for everybody else people that spend money they're gonna be able to do it right away I, it's just you know but I, yeah well the part i don't love about that is alliance war is that it means that the whale alliances i mean they're already so far ahead of their peers i mean are friend, you getting good matchups anyway them. already is this the matchups oh, no. are all oh, i know i know but do we do we have to make it worse <laughs> we, just because we can doesn't mean we should i mean losing um, losing look, um, in, in, in eight hours, no different than losing in six hours. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's whatever. But um, but let me call a long shot right now. Okay. DD4, I reckon oh. the massive rewards from that are going to be ISO 8. Good call. Good call. All right. Uh, what, 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 let's start planning now. <laughs> All right. So we, we talked about 4th of July. And we, mm -hmm. we have a couple blitzes going on with the American. American Independence, the first Avenger coming back. Uh I'm not sure how relevant he is even for new players. Should new players really be yeah. really be pushing for Captain America at this point? Um, I know thematically it goes along with the whole uh, 4th of July Independence Day, but is this is this a character that is needed by new players at this point in the game? Look, not really. I mean, for getting through the hero campaign, I think it's still relatively relevant for a lot of those people, but I wouldn't go out of my way to farm him over like Guardians, for example. And his usability right now is predominantly just in Alliance War defense, and you're only really using that if you've got Captain Marvel anyway. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he's really fallen off, which, you know, you and I remember the glory days where it was oh. him, Yondu, Black Window, uh, Black Window, Black Widow, Night Nurse, and whoever the fifth one, I can't remember right I now. Liked Hawkeye, and, uh, I liked Hawkeye. Hawkeye got a lot of hate back yeah. then. I liked I like using Hawkeye in that team back then. Where's the Hawkeye rework, man? Like, he's got one arrow. He's got one arrow. Where's his Bernie well, ones and explody ones? Like, Come on, man. Thematically, thematically, he's a normal yeah. human that shoots arrows. How much How much of a rework does he need going up against cosmic deities and, you know, crazy-powered yeah. guys? I don't know. I know, and they've made him wear that outfit for two years now, man. I think he, for his suffering of that lycra, I mean, that's going to hitch up uh, in parts that are not fun, man. So I think that for all the pain that he's endured, I think that he deserves a rework in a big way. Bring, Make the Avengers great again. Everyone yes. wants to see that. Make the Avengers top tier. We know they need to make money. Bring in one super legendary Avengers character that's overpowered. Rework the rest I think that's a good compromise. Let's like make it happen. It. I like it. I like it. We're, well, Black Widow movie is supposedly November, so that mm -hmm. that is when that is when the hope. If if it doesn't happen, then I don't know when it's gonna happen. Oh, so man. Black Black Widow movie, come on, yeah. do it, Fox Next. I, I expect a lot of memes involving my face when that movie comes out because uh, <laughs> apparently there's a, rel a relatively overweight gentleman uh, in that movie that has a big beard. So I look forward to that, ladies and gents. I've heard him compared to somebody else in the MSF community, but. I'll, I'll let people, oh, yeah, I'll let okay, people make it. their own uh, comparisons. All right. I'll keep bro Thor. He can have that guy. Sounds good to me. All right, and this, this happened last night. A little surprising for me. I thought it was supposed to happen today, but early, not, not, not bad. Toad added to the bullet store. Uh, this was yeah. this. We normally get this the first Wednesday. Today is Wednesday as we're recording this. It happened on Tuesday, so good stuff. But uh, Toad, finally, uh, are you expecting Blob anytime soon? Now that we have Toad, 
Uh, I mean, I think so. I mean, that team is very, very good. It counters Coulson, but it's not meta-breaking. So it's one of those characters I think Fox Next can now release in the wild and it's going to improve the lives of most uh, war participants, but it's not going to break the game in a way that, you know, uh, people are going to suddenly finish Ultima 7-5. So I think he's a character that's due. The ones that really break the game or can you know, really change things like his Cyclopses and whatnot, I think they're still keeping them under the belt. So I, I kind of expect him to be the next one, yeah. Okay. Uh, how important do you think Toad is? Uh, should people really be farming Toad to build up that Brotherhood 2.0? Because when you use him on war, he needs that focus. So I'm thinking that stars on him is super important. Red stars, gold stars, because you want to be able to remove the buffs from shield or whoever you're facing. Do you, mm. do you think he's getting these stars on him is super important for Toad or the rest of the brotherhoods that are going to take care of the matchup? Well, I mean, we had some improvements to that team as well with like yet another sort of mags buff a little while ago. And obviously T, T13, T14 take care of a lot of focus these days that it didn't previously. So Red Stars, uh, since the rework and they're scaling much better, I think that getting someone at three and four Red Stars in many cases is close to enough. Unless you're going up against someone that has, you know, seven reds, in which case, mm. you know, you're going to struggle. Yeah. But I think Blob is probably the more important piece of that puzzle is that if you do have a few things go awry with Toad, Blob is there to kind of pick up the pieces. So do I advise farming those characters? I mean, in the Blitz store, it depends on where you're at in your game. For end game, late game players like you and I, yeah. absolutely. I think he's amazing. Drop Strife. Forget about his farm. He's a dog <laughs> right now. He's no, he's no good. Um, but yeah, jump onto, uh, onto Toad Man for sure. For newer players, I mean, he's great, but you really need that whole team together. If you don't have Mags and the rest of the squad, this is no point. So I think early game players forget Toad for now, but remember to come back around to him. And uh, yeah, I'd say uh, for the rest of us that are sort of war dominant uh, these days, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and, and newer players, I, newer mid game players. I mean, do you really need another war offense team? You probably need to be building your roster, focusing yeah. on building legendaries, building other teams for arena, things like that. I, I don't know if uh, a mm. team is super important for newer players, but yeah, I, I get you. Very important if you already have those built end game. I, 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 yeah. Brotherhood 2.0, important counter for. Uh, Fury, Colson, Shield, and kind of a counter to those Mercs, right? Mm. Well, and that's the thing though. I mean, there's still a lot of, well, you're right about the Mercs. Yeah, they can punch down a bit on them too. Um, but the reality is, I mean, it's not like the Brotherhood 1.0 is useless. I mean, I've been limping with that team and whoever I use as the fifth really depends on what I'm trying to take down. You know, if someone's still, and there's not many these days, but if someone's using a, a group Drax combo with a Minardian's defense, for example, I'll literally just throw in Ant-Man as the fifth because you get that ability block out on group, it's over. That's they smart, can't clear any of the blinds, any of the burns, nothing. And like yeah, you know, then I get to use Ant-Man for once. So, oh, um, so they're a good those, little hybrid team. people that were trying to get him from Mega Orbs. Yeah. All right, sorry. Sorry for interrupting. I had yeah. to throw that in there. <laughs> All good, man. So, yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with 1.0. Like, I mean, the difference between them, yep, it's going to be much better against some of those more meta teams with 2.0 and your end game guilds, uh, you know, who are vying for top 100 in war. Of course, they're going to be vying for that team, but they've probably already got them. And it's, yeah, it's not like adding Black Order or something like that or X-Force into your roster. They're not that dominant. Uh, they can't punch up anywhere near as high. All right. So you, you did mention X-Force. X-23 arrived in the game yesterday. I, I know mm. you used to be like every single character. Did you did you try out X-23? Do you have thoughts on her or, or just looking at her kit or first-hand knowledge? Mm. Yeah, so I mean, uh, if there was one character that I wanted to get good reds on, it was her. Like, I know that you want the other ones for the buff strips and all that fun sort of thing, but you've got... You've got three attempts at stripping buffs with that team because you've got two on Negasonic, one with Cable. Like one of those is going to land. Yeah. But the amount of damage potential that you have from X-23 and the way that she may actually be able to jump across game modes as well. Because what does she get? It's like 40% on a kill. I think she gets turn meter rewind or when someone dies. Yeah, that's she, a, she, a gets story. A, um, she gets a lot of turn meter barrier. Uh, maybe not barrier. I think that's Negasonic. I'm confusing the two. But she gets healing. She gets that uh, Wolverine healing. So... She's yeah. gonna have a lot of survivability. So she could damage. be a monster. Well, see, I, I, as I said, I skipped most of X Force. Um, I've gotten more than I thought I would as a free to play. But let's say I wasn't going to use them. If I got decent reds on X twenty three, which of course I didn't. That's just the way it rolls for me. Um, I probably would have bought her anyway, and I'd be running her uh, as a fifth with Spider Verse. 
because she's yet another character that spirals out of control uh, the more that you can kill on the enemy team. So, you know, just her by herself, she could cause a bit of mischief on Asgardians, you know, because you can start smashing Gregs all over the place. Um, there's some really cool things she can do with that ultimate. So I think the big red stars on her, which two people in my alliance pulled seven red stars today, which is insane to me. Um, I think she's going to be a monster. My goodness. You got some lucky know, people in your alliance. All that, all that, 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 I didn't yeah. hear anything you said after that. I'm like, what? <laughs> two in one yeah, alliance? If you guys want to get massive red stars, join my alliance because it's literally, it's, it's actually hilarious how many people pull big seven red stars around me, right? It's amazing. I'm still, um, this is where we do our testimonial, right? Just that, hi, yeah. I'm Chewburger84. I'm 800 days played and zero seven red stars. Oh. Send help soon, you know? I got none. No seven reds, yeah. I, we and haven't no, talked. I, I know it was a, jeez, I didn't, I didn't know you hadn't had one yet. We haven't talked in a while. Jeez. Um, yes, I still, still nothing, yeah. And uh, I've only got three, six red stars that I pulled. The rest are all upgraded myself. I've had terrible luck with red stars, man. Terrible. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so, and we did get noticed that she will have a blitz. Uh, July 16th, uh, I think most of us suspected uh, next week, mm -hmm. she would have a blitz. Um, as far as date, uh, we we saw data mine that she was a blitz release character. What do you mm -hmm. what do you think of all these blitz release characters? Uh, do you think that the scores are going to be affected now that the blitz botters have finally been caught and banned for those three days? Well, here's the thing: is that um, not everyone in that top hundred is a botter. The the problem is is that what the bots did is it forced the krakens to outspend what they were doing for free. That's that's the real downside. And if you had a spender who also botted, good god. So I do hope that the the krakens and the whales out there kind of band together a little bit and just sort of say, hey guys, we don't need to go here anymore. The bots are gone. Can we just be cool for time, like a little while? We don't have to have 40 million from number one to number two. This is getting crazy. Yeah. Let's let's help save each other a bit of money and not go crazy. I'd love them to, to talk to each other like that. I would, so, I would as well. I don't know how likely that is, but that would be awesome if they uh, could. Like, <laughs> yeah, but if you do notice, and that's why I wonder if the, and this is pure, you know, tin foil hat time, buddy, um, is that if you had a look at some of the more recent blitzes, um, the average scores for the top 30 were starting to trend downwards. Like obviously the, the first four or five guys, lunatics, right? Yeah. But after that, it actually started to trend downward. And I do wonder if that meant that a lot of those spenders on Blitz actually were spending less. Cause I was like, why, why am I, why am I spending money when I could just, I could go, you know, get a bot. They're obviously not doing anything about it or give up. Why, why would I spend money? Yeah. So I do wonder if people were backing off anyway, except for those people that wanted to get number one. I don't know. Hope we'll find out in this blitz. It'll it'll tell us the state of the game, honestly, in this next blitz. I'm I'm, I'm excited from an analytical point. I mean, I'm probably yeah. milestone and chilling on this, depending on if it's overlap with this. Oh, event, but it is X23. It is X23. It is, but I mean, I pull garbage red stars. Gar uh, red stars for me right now, they kind of inform my purchasing decisions. Like if it's a meta, meta, meta team for every part of the game, raid, arena, everything, yeah, I'll buy them if I got one red star and then I'll just bring them up the hard way. But when it's a character like this that I think she's got a lot of potential, if you naturally pull red stars, yeah. I cannot see myself spending premium currency randomly bringing her up yeah. deliberately. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense. That so, because I pulled garbage on her there's no point because if you're trying to put something into ultimus uh you know seven difficulty three and above really three red stars on a dps character is not going to cut it mm. so um yeah for me i'm pro i'm happy enough to wait on that one um you know if i get inspired and i want to blitz and I'm, I'm loving the game at that point i will but sometimes uh freeing up time to play an entire video game with the amount of time it takes in one weekend to blitz like i literally could have finished the last of us 2 all over again in the time frame it would take to farm x23 so for my own sanity brother i'm probably gonna skip it out yeah what about you are you gonna go sense. deep uh, i'm probably gonna do top 2000 for both of these and i think i think uh not this one but the second one so whatever july 16th is the week later i think that mm -hmm. will kind of uh let the community know where we are as far as yeah. reaction after this blitz bot crackdown i mean cap you're not going to get too much uh not data with the captain america blitz or i can't even remember who uh, heimdall blitz or what we have next week so i think oh, this yeah. one and then the second one uh, when we see the results from both of those, because there's usually a drop off, I think that'll let uh, the community know where we are as far as blitzing now that it's done.
Absolutely. Absolutely. But I mean, the good news is now, I think we had someone the other day who got the top 2% awards. I think they were somewhere like 4,600th place. Mm. So the rewards go a lot further back than I thought they actually would. So that either means a lot less of people have been blitzing recently, or a lot of people got very similar scores in that middle sort of territory around, you know, the 18 to 22 million. So it'd be very interesting to say. Or maybe there's a lot of new players coming from another game and they're just starting this mm. and there's and that the, 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 since there's more players, that percent gets expanded. I don't know. So I tell you what I'd love to see for those players, man. I would love to see a permanent separation of Blitz. Those people coming across and starting right now, they should never have to compete against you and I. Mm. They should never have to compete against Fate's Fury and Dismal Content. No yeah. way. Those guys have way too much of an advantage over us. We have far too much of an advantage over them. It's just like kicking a, a, you know, kicking down. So I'd love to see that newbie bracket that they have temporarily. Leave them there. Like there's enough people yeah. playing this game. What's the harm in giving another couple of hundred people rewards? It's not going to shatter everything else. I'd love to see that. You know, we got so much that they never got, like Thanos raids, Deadpool raids, things oh. that were very easy for us back in the day to get these advantages. Yeah. These guys will never catch up if you don't help them, man. So I'd love to see a permanent split in Blitz now for us and new players. I, I think it should happen. Right, so I was, I was, um, we were talking about this, not mid, uh, previous thing, having multiple shards for Blitz. Mm. Um, you know, we got multiple shards for Arena, multiple shards for Blitz. How many shards do you think is appropriate nowadays? We've been playing for over uh, mm. over two years at this point you know you got some yeah. players coming in just starting off a fresh account not going to be able to compete uh with with an account that yeah. has that much age on it um mm. what what do you think is a problem about five five shards for blitz 10 more maybe separated every million or so what 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 in your opinion is the problem yeah amount? i think it has to be a sliding scale so i think it has to be a fixed amount of players i think that's the only way you can do it because uh and then obviously as people quit or don't participate then you sort of go okay well these ones go into this bracket based on tcp or something like that i don't know i don't really know how no sorry not tcp uh time played Okay. Um, that'll penalize people coming back to well, the game. Of I course, don't know. But, well, yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly what you said. Uh, penalize people. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe collection power might be more accurate, and then they just move up and down based. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the solution well, is, but but what do we have now? Just it, it needs yeah some change. Well, there's another option too. So I mean, did you ever play Marvel Contest of Champions? Not to plug other games while we're doing Marvel Strikeforce stuff. Have, but. I have I have not. It is. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not into so, that action type of uh, fighting game. I'm more yeah. into these. Uh, turn-based type. So you know how slower, we have basically... Games. <laughs> I'm with you. So you know how we have the days where we have, we can pick which Blitz we want, the Red Blitz yes. or the uh, the Premium Blitz, right? Yeah. So their arena is there, is our Blitz, right? Okay. And they do that all the time. So they'll have in a Blitz like X23, and that's where all the guys like you and me are going to be going, boom, we're going after that. We're in game. But then what they'll be doing for the other one, it'll be someone like, let's say, Captain Marvel, like okay. game-changing for people that are newer Ooh, to the game. Got it. But for us, we're already there. So I think if, even if you didn't necessarily have shards, if you did what they did over there and you run two or three different types of blitzes at the same time, and then they'll usually have a gear one over there as well or a different type of resource. So it's like, well, I've, I don't really want either of these two characters right now. I bought them or I got lucky, whatever. So I'm going to go after the gear instead. Mm. So you can kind of mix and match what you're doing. I think Contest of Champions, as grindy as that is, arguably it's worse than blitz for time spent. <laughs> But the other thing they do really well, mate, is the rewards that you get. Like the milestones, they go yeah. way deeper. And uh, every match that it. you participate in, win or loss, you get a little bit of something, something that adds up. So no matter what, you don't sort of fall, you know, 2000 and first and get nothing different to the other, you know, f uh, thousand people behind you. You still got a lot along the way. So I That's think MSF blitz kind of evolved from there because obviously there was a lot of kabam links i think they could learn a lot of the good lessons from that and leave all the bad stuff over there i'd love them to sort of have a look at, at revamping that multiple blitzes then you might even not have to do shards because you'll be all right well no i'm not going to get x23 i just joined the game but i could get rocket you mm. know what i mean so i'd love to see that kind of thing as well options i would like it i mean and fox next scope league you, you got you got ways you get different ways to improve blitz uh you take your pick yeah. all of all of them would work but something needs to be done something needs to be done not not just scrolling through save squads reducing more low quality Absolutely. time in blitz i mean now i, I will say that last, last comment man is that we were promised in february a blitz quality of life yes 
can we have that now, please? Like now's the time, that. folks. Like we're we're a little bit overdue now. Can we can we have that, please? Plus, so, the, so, like, I think that's why they're yeah banning now because they're going to bring in their own auto blitz. That's, that's that, my money. That, that was the the screenshot that we saw, you know, and I'm I'm wondering how that would work. Maybe yeah. maybe that is what they had in mind, and it was like, oh, there's all these people using bots we gotta we gotta kind of like the iso 8 yeah they, they need to change up red stars before they brought them into the game so yeah. possibly but yeah they made good on pretty much most of their roadmap for 2020 except blitz and that just has not been addressed <laughs> very much mm. so hopefully hopefully now that there's addressed maybe maybe that is what what the hold up was so yeah yeah, I mean, he's hoping. I mean, if that's the first step of making quality of life better, of getting rid of people that they've known have been cheating for sort of, you know, at least nine months, that's a great first step. But are now making it the feel quality time. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see how they do it. I really am. All right. So I don't know how much this means to you. Someone that's just passed, uh, that's already passed Dark Dimension 3 and saved everything. We got mm -hmm. Chaos Theory coming back this week. Gold promotion credits, silver promotion credits. You've been saving a bunch of these anyway, so I don't even know if you're going to upgrade anybody. But if if you mm -hmm. did start to spend these, who, who would you spend yours on? Yeah, good point. So, I mean, if I if I didn't have anyone at six at the moment, uh, my targets would definitely be Black Bolt number one. Uh, and then obviously you, it depends on what teams you're running at the moment. For me personally, I'd be throwing uh, everything I was at at raid characters that also have overlap into arena. So uh, there's a lot of characters that fall in there. I mean, Hell is fantastic in a lot of ways. Her viability is falling off a little bit. Uh, anyone in the Black Order, particularly Thanos, uh, he's really good at high reds. Cull Obsidian is a monster mm -hmm. at high reds. We got one guy in my arena who has a seven red star man. Oh. And the amount of times that just from that splash damage just chips away at you in ways that, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, an absolute show. But for me at the moment, I think there's going to be a lot of characters coming out in the next probably six months that I think are going to change some things. So that's why I'm being a little bit more squirrely. So if you're if you're not about to try and push something like the next stage of Ultima 7, like you're not going from two to three or three to four and you don't yeah. care, I, I'd probably squirrel away a, a few for now. Like if you've beaten Save. DD3, there's no real reason to rush. You know what I mean? Well, what about yeah. you? What are you doing? I, I think I'm going to get six... For Thanos and just save everything else. Mm. Get the sixth uh, red star for Thanos. Uh, everybody else, kind of happy with, or they're so far off that I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be yeah. too expensive for me to do anything. So uh, Thanos yeah. is the only one that's pretty close that uh, I would want to do right now. So looking forward to that. Thanos, Black Order. Absolutely. No, that that team is huge, man. Huge. So yeah, Thanos in there, six reds, great investment. As we said, Black Bolt. Hell is still pretty damn good. Um, a lot of people sort of go for Thor because of the war defense, but I, I'm, I really am waiting on that because I've got a feeling that, uh, yeah, the X-Force is probably going to be the end of Asgardians on defense. So if that's true, there's no point in, in taking Thor up because he's not great anywhere else. Yeah, the thing that cautions me about putting too much emphasis on war is... I don't, I don't know about your alliance, but we get bad matchups a lot, like oh, unwin yeah. unwinnable matchups. And so it's yeah. like, why am I spending this, all this currency and uh, resources on Blitz when two out of three matchups of the week is unwinnable and the other one yeah. we're, we're going to compete, which is good, but it's it's like once a week I'm spending all these resources yeah. for. So, uh, the war, war has kind of lost it a little bit because of the uh, matchmaking for me, but... Yeah. I, 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 yeah. So yeah, long, long, long way to say that Thor wouldn't be my pick. <laughs> oh, no way. And then you're exactly right there, man. Like that's how I've always built my game, that it's nice to have good war teams. It's great to have good arena teams, but even arenas out of your control, the same way that raids are yeah. in that, you know, people can lock you Defense. out from being able to attack someone for 20 minutes, right? But raids, raids in you and your alliance's control, they give you rewards every single day. Um, you know, high-end raids get you a lot. Like you, you, you saw how many orbs that I have just because we've been doing high-end raids every day, you know, and, and that's, that's easy for us to do with very minimal heal energy. So most of me, this is a personal choice. Most of my decisions are built around raid first and trying to get overlap between raid and arena. If I can do five characters that do their job in both, perfect that's what i need so that's why black order has been awesome because you can use three of them two random characters in raid full black order in arena seven characters i can dominate most of my daily activities you know wars three times a week maybe you win maybe you get absolutely demolished 
That's you can't do anything about it. I mean, the war. We we, we first couple of minutes we look at the matchup. Oh, we're we're gonna fight yeah. or. Uh, it's, yeah, it's done already. <laughs> it's done. Absolutely, but, absolutely, yeah, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Arena and raids, my two most important uh, game modes. I'm, I'm building that. That that takes priority over everything else in this game. All right, and and this is your first time on the news report. This is my favorite part of the channel where I talk yeah. or, or, or part of the video where I talk about some of the rumors that uh, we've been uh, mm. getting over the past uh, week or so. Now, I want to talk about a couple from last week just uh, to get your reaction because there's a follow-up okay. from what we had this week. So uh, there's a rumor guy that appears on my channel every so often. And oh, yeah. uh, last week, he talked about um, a couple characters coming to the game. First was a rodent brawler. I think that's a pretty easy connection mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yeah. uh, Squirrel Girl possibly coming. Um, uh, Cold Fifth. And some yep. people weren't sure about that, but we had a message on Facebook from the official Marvel Strike Force. Something about Emma Frost. So I think a lot of people are uh, leading, yeah. going towards that in their mind. And then an X Men male. Uh, so before we move on mm -hmm. to the rumors of this week, let me let me get your uh, thoughts on some of the rumors of last week. Uh, I guess let's start start with Squirrel Girl. How, how excited for another hero brawler are you coming to the game? <laughs> Yeah, look, that's brawlers. I mean, at one stage they were dominant. I couldn't tell you honestly the last time I used a full brawler squad uh, that wasn't a hybrid just for blitz. Like I'm not using him in war. I'm not using him anywhere else. So yeah, not really excited. I mean, okay. if they have kind of like a custom animation with her and Thanos, I'm on board. Like that could be pretty fun. But um, as a character, as a brawler, she'd have to bring some utility because most of the classic brawlers just don't really do that much. I don't know what kind of flavor she's going to have. If they made her like a brawler summon a hybrid, that'd be pretty cool. Like if you could actually like just get, Squirrels I'd love a squirrel attacking. mechanic that could just get <laughs> out of control. Like, you know what I mean? Like every time she gets hit, she like throws another squirrel onto the battlefield with no cap. So he's going to have like a thousand squirrels. If you do that, I'm on board. That'd be awesome. Um, other than that, yeah. I just, if she's just a classic brawler, I think she's going to be one of those characters that it's like, ah, she's cute and then move on to the next thing. Well, I think she's going to add something to the team. You know how Miss Marvel adds something to the team? America Chavez adds something to the team. The rest of them don't really, but mm. those two, I think she's supposed to be on the team. So I'm thinking she'll add something to the team, but I don't know. I mean, at, at, at this point, it's not even official that she's coming. It's just rumors at this point, mm. but I'm thinking she'll be kind of more like America Chavez, Miss Marvel, rather than some of the other ones that are supposed to belong on other teams. Yeah. Um, moving yeah. on to the X Men. I know you like X Men. Mm -hmm. um, the rumor is a male coming in July, mm -hmm. X-Men, and mm -hmm. not Gambit. Well, oh, so I was just about to ask about the length of his poll, because that would have defined it. Well, it's, <laughs> it's going to be Beast then, obviously. You think It'll it's be Beast, Beast for sure. Okay. There's, well, there's I don't know, because couple, in this there's game... There's a couple other characters floating out there that are very... Um, I guess so. Well, like a Nightcrawler, Angel. Nightcrawler, uh, Angel. See, I would love to see Iceman. Angel Arc. I, I would love Beast. to see them do an Apocalypse with the Four Horsemen uh, mm. run. I would love to see that become a team. God, that'd be so cool. Maybe that's um, why we don't have Angel and Iceman and some of these other characters in the game. Possibly, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we know that Beast has been in the kit forever. But then again, we always have to have one meme character, right? It's just like... Where is Cyclops? Where is Groot? Like characters that are there's, missing if, for if a Beast year. If Beast gets released, there's nobody that we have uh, that's that's right. been early. I mean, we've had Beast in the game for a while. Coulson was there for a while. We've had other characters yeah. Red Skull since Data Mines. Oh, and now if, they, now if Beast gets released, we got nobody. There's no meme. So there must always be a meme. Like the, yes. the whole survival of planet Earth depends on yes. there being one meme character in Marvel Strike Force. So yeah. we can't touch that. Maybe so go back to Beta um, for Yellow Jacket or something. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's one of the rumors as well, which obviously we'll talk about in a sec. But for me, I'd have to say it's probably Beast. I mean, okay. we know the kits in the game, the artwork's there. Um, now that their usability in Arena is starting to fall off a little bit, um, I think that, you know, pivoting to a raid team, which is what he seemed to be filling in and starting to use like secondary X-Men teams, maybe with or without Phoenix mm. to try and get through like a secondary Ultima 7 team uh, as opposed to some of these hybrids. I think that could make it. Because I think Ultima 7s are going to probably become less hybrid teams in the long run uh, until we get more gear. In the short term, it's going to be, I'm going to throw my Black Order at this node. Yeah. And then because it's going to murder them, I'm going to throw my you know X-Men raid version team in there. So 
Uh, I think it'd be Beast, personally. I would have said Gambit, but you said he's not the, uh, that, the option. That, so that I, is that what was uh, told to me by that rumor guy. So I, I'm just going up based okay. off of what he said. He said not Gambit specifically. Um, and I, I think the, you, okay. the last character is the most intriguing because that that is what we got to follow up this week. So Cold okay. Fifth, um, Emma Frost was mm. teased on the official Facebook um, Marvel Strike Force page. Mm-hmm. This he he said that she's going to provide a lot of boosts to the team. I, 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 mm-hmm. I don't know if that was the exact words, but that's the way I interpreted it. A lot of boosts to the team. So mm-hmm. obviously talking about Marauders. Um, yeah. What are, what are your thoughts on this team? Because Sinister's awesome. They're they're yeah. decent on war defense. Strife you mentioned earlier, not not one of the best characters. So what do you think this team needs to be like this scary mm-hmm. war defense team? Well, I think you need that combination of defense up and auto taunt on spawn. And what he probably needs more than anyone is also a uh, a few death proofs. Like I think if he started off with some, you're, you're or talking, maybe even a, you're talking strife. I'm talking about strife, yeah. Okay. Just because he he kind of is going to buy you the survivability to get to that turn. Because Sinister, mm-hmm. he can kind of pivot that match, but you need to get to that point. Uh, I've been really impressed about how effective Mystique is in that team. Sabretooth continues to disappoint as he has done since he came into this game. Not I think he needs a little bit of love. I know, but I mean, law wise, he's an awesome character. And <laughs> I mean, my favorite character being Wolverine, I want Sabretooth to feel good, yeah. but Wolverine needs to be good first. Um, but when it comes to Sabretooth, I think he needs more rework. I don't think he has enough damage. I think you need like a six, seven red star Sabretooth before he even becomes a threat. So I, I feel like if she gave that team the ability to uh, speed uh, either your team up or potentially get that defense up with some death proofs out of the gate. And then because she's a psychic, I have, an, I have a feeling she might even have either a stealth mechanic or the ability to very much either slow or blind the other team as well. Um, it feels like she'd be a controller type. Yeah, um, she, she without has knowing like much psych, about psych, it. psychic type powers, right? So she's, she, it, it seems yeah. like control, control would be good which man we we just got some counters to these teams is this going to be the new meta team if we get the new character added providing boosts and scary because i I think the mercs the mercs were the the toughest one right i still think they are i actually actually have a feeling black order but that's kind of offense and defense team but mercs mercs i I found the most trouble with mercs so maybe maybe now it's going to move to marauders with another person coming to the team I think it's probably going to stay there because um, it, let's say they do bring a lot of buffs. Let's say they do that. That still makes them very, very prone to X-Force. Like X-Force are going to absolutely wreck very buff dependent defense teams. Teams like the Mercenaries, I think you, I don't think they're going to be able to punch up too high X-Force on those uh, cheeky little Merc teams. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually pans out once we get a little bit more live testing once uh, X-23 becomes in the wild which we'll see from everyone's next war. So yeah, I don't think they'll become the meta. I think they've got the potential to become stronger, but it really depends on what she does. That team either needs to get sped up, uh, needs more damage out on Sabretooth. That's definitely a necessity if you want that team to feel like a threat, because at the moment you either outlast them or you die. That's how that team works. Like if Sinister gets a clone out and that team lives enough to Strife can do his thing, sure, you might have a pretty good chance at winning, but otherwise you're gonna get bursted out before you do anything. They're really prone to uh, heal blocks and disrupts that team. You can really wipe them out by making sure they don't get a turn with, uh, sorry, not disrupt, with ability block, yeah. Mm, so maybe, I'm, I'm trying to think, maybe maybe a new ability. We haven't had a new ability for a while in this game. I think since uh, immunity mm. and disrupted, right? Is that the, 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 the green X and the red X? I, I can't remember the names, but I don't think we had a new yeah. ability added to the game since that. So maybe, yeah, how I don't the know. closest, but yeah, not really. Uh, Chewburger, it, it has been way too long. We got to do this, not, not let it go a year again, because I, I lo- it's, it's always fun talking with you, my friend. Um, you any, any other thoughts, final wrapping up, and um, hopefully we do this again soon. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'd be keen to, man. Um, obviously, yeah, uh, it's always a great catching up for a collab. I'm kind of the enemy of collabs because my time zone is the worst by that's, living that's on the, the reason. That's the reason, but hopefully, hopefully we figure this out. Yeah. Well, because a lot of people don't realize that I live on the desert planet, uh, the desert planet Tatooine. So, uh, yeah, it makes it hard to dial in. That's for sure. The Wi-Fi is not great here. So, yeah, yeah. I think the multiple suns kind of screw with that. But uh, tell everybody where they could find you in case in case they don't know already. 
Absolutely. So uh, it may be a little bit harder to find me than you think. So uh, when you Google Tuberger 84 on YouTube, you may not find me. You're looking for our uh, our hub, which is Alter Nerd Reality, A-L-T-E-R-N-E-R-D. You can find our content there. We also have a lot of different podcasts and gaming things that we're doing with reviews. So if you go to alternerdreality.com, we have everything there. And I am going to be streaming at least three times a week. I can commit to now at twitch.tv forward slash Tuberger 84. Okay, cool, cool. So all those links, guys, the website, uh, YouTube, everything, it's going to be down below. So click on that. Check out some more Schubert and the rest of the alternate reality. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. We do this every single week, guys. We have not missed a week on this uh, on this channel. And yes, more to come. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe, smash on the like button, join the notification squad, all that good stuff. Uh, Valley merch. There's always sales going on in Public. Check out that link and see if there's one going on right now. And I will see you guys next time. Check me out on social media. Schuberger, always a pleasure, my friend. Before you go, give me a Hulk fist bump, baby. Where's your fist? Where's your fist? Wait, there wait. it is. Valley Fly Schuberger, out. <laughs>